So the session you've all been waiting for, this is a, actually a very simple product, so there's not a lot to it. We'll actually go into the application as well, and I'll, I'll just kind of poke around and um, show you mainly how it functions. So just a quick back, you know, kind of a, uh, information leading into the application. Um, one out of three uh, business owners is penalized for payroll uh, uh, compliance issues. Uh, it's obviously a huge, huge uh, part of running your business. 67% um, of small businesses are spending more than 1000 bucks a year in managing their, uh, uh, their federal taxes. And there's so many different things that make payroll complex, right? Uh, one is uh, updating that into your accounting system. Uh, that's one of the things we're going to take a look at with the Zoho Books integration and making that simpler. Uh, managing employees, managing time, um, obviously e-filing returns, being notified of uh, when to actually make those payments. So Zoho Payroll simplifies this entire process. And we know that running payroll can be very, very cumbersome. So when you actually take a look at Zoho Payroll, the first thing I just want you to note, take a note of here is that it looks very similar to all the other finance applications. Uh, that's by design, right? It's supposed to allow you to flow quickly into this product and utilize it the same as you would use uh, apps like Zoho Books. And when we actually go into Zoho Payroll, uh, what we'll see today is we'll just do a quick overview. Uh, I'll give you a quick product demo. So a quick overview. I mentioned California and Texas. Those are the two states that we're available in. Uh, Zoho Payroll is also available in India. Um, the application has been uh, tested in both of these states. We have folks who are currently utilizing it. It's not listed on Zoho.com, but you can access it by going to Zoho.com slash payroll, uh, and you'll be able to utilize it there. So, uh, what are the three basic steps to get payroll started? So the first thing you do is you just go in and you set up all of your organizational rules, all your employees, get in all of their information. If you're doing any kind of benefits tracking, uh, you can actually do that within payroll. There are not integrations as of yet to actually make those changes in your benefits managers, but you can actually do tracking and retirement tracking in uh, Zoho Payroll. Then you'll set up the schedule for um, for your pay runs, actually initiate those pay runs. And then finally, there is the accounting and compliance portion of things. So actually setting up and administering payroll. So the two categories of employees that you can currently manage are hourly and salaried employees. Um, first, you'll enter in employee details. These are very straightforward, right? So entering in their number of deductions, um, what their um, um, specific information is for their account, I'll see some of those options listed here. So in this case, we have how much they're getting paid, if we have any type of benefits tracking for their defined benefits, and then setting up their deductions. Uh, and then you can also track a leave policy. So if you need to add in um, you know, a certain amount of time that they accrue every pay period, you can do that within Zoho Payroll. So you'll set up these tax details, so what their withholding allowances are, and if they want to have any additional withholding amounts. And finally, there's also an employee self-service portal. So once you have Zoho Payroll up and running, you can allow employees to log into their own account. They can view their pay stubs. Um, they can view uh, and change other critical information. Um, some of the things we'll do in enhanced updates later on in Payroll uh, is add in um, some functionality you've seen in other uh, Zoho applications that give employees more options. But as of right now, you can access pay stubs as an employee. Here's what the employee dashboard would look like. So they can actually see uh, very quickly what their net pay is, how many hours they've worked, a summary of their pay slip. Um, they can also track um, uh, their pay time off. So if they need to request PTO, uh, that's something that uh, can be done uh, through the employee dashboard. And then additionally, you'll notice they have a profile that they can uh, view as well. Here's what that profile looks like. And here are the pay stubs. All right, so let's look at schedules. So the first thing you'll do to run payroll, you'll simply input work hours. Um, you'll then uh, preview a summary, and then you just hit approve and pay. Um, so I actually have a family member who's on Zoho Payroll in Dallas, and they have like eight employees, and it's pretty simple. Um, I've gone in, taken a look at it. It's really not anything that's, that's complicated um, in, in running payroll. Um, all right, so once you uh, have initiated your pay run, you can, of course, uh, either do a direct 
uh, disbursement by cutting checks to them, uh, or you can do a direct deposit through the Forte integration. So um, that's the same Forte integration that you'll find in books and expense for uh, employee reimbursements or vendor payments. Um, so other pay types, uh, commission pay types, whether well, vacation pay uh, and then also sick pay. Uh, you can also do an unscheduled pay run, like a bonus pay run, or if you have to make a uh, correction pay run for something that, that went awry. Um, and then finally, the accounting and compliance part. So um, the 94X series of forms, right, are integrated. Those are your quarterly returns. Uh, Zoho is in the process of becoming a uh, reporting agent. Uh, customers, we would be able to actually um, remit those payments on behalf of you. That's not something that's available yet. So basically, all of the tax calculations happen in Zoho Payroll. Um, you'll, you can see what all of those different details are. You do have to e-file them through uh, another service as of right now. So you can set up some, um, some automation tools. So some of these functions can be reminders to actually run your payroll, notifications uh, if need be, um, things like getting notified it's time to pay your, you know, your biweekly uh, unemployment taxes. I actually have, an, uh, I have a demo account. <laughs> Um, set up on my phone, and I like constantly get reminders to pay my unemployment taxes for my organization, um, so I can tell you that those notifications do work. Um, and then, of course, you have the payroll reports for your business um, that you can um, automate to basically send to your inbox and things that you would see in Zoho Books. All right, so integrations. The main integration that, of course, we've talked about is the Zoho Books integration. So all this does is it uh, creates a journal entry into your Zoho Books account. Um, this happens, of course, at every pay run. It's very simple. Um, all of the options that you've configured in your Zoho Payroll account will uh, allow you to choose what account in your chart of accounts this is um, actually going into. So you do have that customizability there. All right, so other integrations. Um, so you can sync expenses uh, from users uh, that, are, that are logged in Zoho Expense in Zoho Payroll. Um, and then Zoho People we just talked about for uh, extensively, uh, but that would allow you to sync all the time in, time out function. Um, so with that, let's actually jump into the product real quick. And this will be just a really quick demo of Payroll. There we go. Um, okay, so this is my Zoho Payroll account. This is the home screen. You'll notice that I still have some steps that are pending before I can complete my account. Um, so setting up tax details, that is related to uh, setting up my IRS account or my California tax uh, account that's listed here. Um, and then the other detail I have is uh, I have not set this up with my Zoho Books account. So very quickly, let's just take a look at organization details. So you'll notice that a lot of this actually gets imported from your Zoho Books organization that you already have. So the name of the organization, the structure, all of this, the address. Then the third step here is configuring your pay schedule. So of course, the first time you actually set up this account, it's going to say, is this your first pay run of the year, or is this, are you in the middle of the year? Um, so that actually allows you to set up when your uh, pay runs will begin. Um, once you have set up that schedule, there's a number of different schedules that you can set up. I can. I can uh, edit this to show you. So whether it's every week, every other week, uh, twice a month, or once a month, you'll also notice that these are just the basic settings that I'm setting up here, um, adding employees. So I can import my employees in a CSV file, uh, or I can simply add them individually here. When you add each employee, it's going to ask for all of their specific information. So you can choose to enable portal access for them, their compensation details. Um, and then as you go on, it'll ask for uh, all of the related information to run their payroll. Let's actually go into settings real quick to show you some of these other options. So if you have multiple work locations, you can actually manage those here inside of payroll. Of course, taxes we talked about a moment ago. Here's setting up my PTO policy. So of course, this is a California account that I have set up. But here you can see I can um, choose how many hours are added. Users, these are the admins in uh, Zoho Payroll. These are not your employees. right? These are people who will have actual access to this account. And then if there's email templates, um, there's only a couple of basic ones, um, user invites. And then also, you do have a pay slip notification. So every time a pay run uh, is made, you can send out a notification to your employees. And let's actually take a quick look at um, the, the benefits options here. So when you add a benefit, it asks you 
what are the different types of health plans that we have set up here. So you can choose between any of these. Again, I mentioned Zoho Payroll will track um, this information. So let's just do a do this. So and so you can go in and you can, of course, enroll employees into this and set up all of the uh, particulars for each employee related to this. So once I, so if I'm selecting this employee, I can choose whether it's a fixed amount or a percentage of their gross pay that's going to contribute to this um, defined benefit. And then finally, you have reports. So the general reports for the product are here at the top, payroll summaries, benefit summaries, et cetera. And then you have your tax summaries listed here, tax payment summaries. Um, of course, when you set up the integration, you get quite a bit more uh, with the 94X series coming in. And other than that, this product uh, is very similar in terms of um, where, where everything is placed, where settings are, so you really shouldn't have any issue. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us.